All right, this is first grade, module four, lesson 22. And in this lesson, students are going to be given, we're kind of twisting things around from verses lessons 19, 20, and 21. Because in lesson 22, instead of students given the problem and they have to draw the model, now students are being given the model and they have to come up with the word problem. What a great twist on helping students develop an understanding of the mathematics that's going on. It's also an awesome opportunity for teachers to differentiate with their students really easily. Let the students invent their own questions to go with the model. The idea is if a kid loves soccer, they'll write about soccer. If they like butterflies, then they'll write about butterflies. This is a great opportunity for students to really personalize the mathematics and fall in love with what's going on, this wonderful math that we're learning. So let's get started. What I think I might do is, as a lead-in, because this is a very unusual way for students to, you know, they're normally used to being given problems and trying to solve the problem. Instead, we're given the model and they have to create the problem. Uh, so what I think I might do is I might give them three problems and three models. Now, I've made these in advance, and but I don't think... Yeah, yeah, so these are not necessarily going, like this problem doesn't necessarily go with this model and vice, you know, and this model doesn't go with this problem, etc. So the idea is I might uh, ask the students, hey, yeah, let's, let's look at these and let's, let's connect the problem to the model and figure out, well, which model goes with which question. So the idea would be just let them read the questions, think about the models, especially what does this model say? Let's say, let's focus on this model. This model, do we know what the total is? No. Do we know what the parts are? Yeah, it's seven and five. So we might look at this and say, well, Alyssa made 12 paper dolls. She gave five of them to her sister and kept the rest. The first problem is we don't have a 12 in here, do we? So we might put this away. And we might look for, oh, here's two problems, two models that have the number 12. So let's think about this. It says Alyssa made 12 paper dolls, and she gave five of them to her sister, and she kept the rest. Do we know how many she kept? No, not exactly. That means it goes with this model right here. So this model, I mean, this question goes with this model. Oh, in fact, I'm right here. Martin has seven red marbles and five blue marbles. How many does he have total, right? So that would go with this one right here. And then by process of elimination, we've got Carl jogging 12 miles on Saturday and then five miles on Sunday. How many miles did he run in all? So there you go right here because you've got Saturday, you've got Sunday. Here's the total right here. And so that's what I think I might do is start off allowing students play a game of matching. Read the question, look at the models, and try and connect this question to the correct model. So here's where we actually, where the rubber actually hits the road. Students are given a model, and they have to come up with a question. Uh, it's, what's really nice is we have some nouns and some verbs. We've got some word banks up here that we can use if we want. Notice it says if needed. Students don't have to use these words if they don't want. But I'm going to notice something. I'm going to notice that our total is 17. I notice that one of the parts is 12 and one of the parts is 5. And so I get to create my question. I can, uh, parents and teachers, either write it as an addition problem 12 plus 5 equals 17, or I can write it as a question that requires subtraction. For example, 17 minus 12 equals 5. So there's a variety of ways that we can go about solving this problem, or writing this problem. I might say, um, oh, let's see. I don't know, I'm looking. Uh, goldfish, okay, so there are uh, 12 goldfish in a pond, and then I might say, so that's this number, goldfish, 
And then the five, oh, let's say five frogs. Five frogs join them to play. So these are the frogs. And so the question is, so what's our, what's our big question? How are we going to, what's this 17? How many animals are there in all? I'm just going to put in all to speed that along a little bit. So there you go. So that's one idea. Is this the only possible question that could have been created with this model? No way. This is a fun place for students to uh, really differentiate and, and talk about stuff that they like. One more example. Uh, this one, a, li a little bit trickier. We have a total, 16. We have one of the parts, 7, but we don't have this part. So we get to write anything we want. Uh, we could say uh, there are 16 players on the team. Some are girls. And seven are boys. How many girls? How many girls? are on the team, are on the team. Horribly messy writing for first grade, but uh, parents and teachers, you get the idea. So the idea is, I'm, I saw this, I immediately recognized it as a subtraction problem, so that's how I did it. I wrote it as a subtraction problem. And that ends first grade, module four, lesson 22, kind of a fun lesson where students uh, get the opportunity to write their own word problems as long as it matches the model that has been given to them.